The phonology of the Massachusett language was reintroduced to the Mashpee, Aquina, Herring Pond, and Assinet tribes that participate in the Wopanok Language Reclamation Project, co founded by Jesse Little Doe Baird in 1993. The phonology is based regular sound changes that took place in the development of Proto-Eastern Algonquian from Proto-Algonquian, as well as cues in the colonial orthography regarding pronunciation, as the writing system was based on English pronunciation and spelling conventions in use at the time, keeping in mind differences in late 17th century English versus today. Other resources included information from extant Algonquian languages with native speakers. The Massachusett language is an eastern branch Algonquian language within the Algic language family. It was historically spoken by the Massachusett people of Greater Boston, the Pawtucket of southernmost Maine, coastal New Hampshire, and the lower Merrimack River watershed, the Wampanoag of southeastern Massachusetts, but specifically Cape Cod and the islands and portions of Rhode Island, the Nauset, possibly a Wampanoag subgroup of the Outer Cape and the Cowset of northwestern Rhode Island, and likely spread as a common second language to many Nipmuc and Penacook speaking groups. In a simplified pidgin form, it was a common medium of intertribal communication across most of New England and Long Island. The historical phonology of the language is hampered by the dormancy of the language with the death of the last speakers at the end of the 19th century as well as dialect leveling. Since the Bible and most of the missionary translations were based on the dialect of the Massachusett people, specifically its Natick variety, that form gained prestige. The use of Natick as a training center for Indian missionaries and teachers, who were literate and often drawn from Natick's local families, helped spread the prestige of the particular variety, so that most dialectal differences were quickly lost. Dialects certainly existed given the diversity of peoples that used it and its broad distribution. Vowels Massachusett vowels can be subdivided into two categories, the short vowels, a, and, and the long vowels, a, 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 j, i, and, u, although, a, is sometimes considered in its own category of nasal vowel. A j, is technically a diphthong, and is particularly prevalent in inanimate intransitive verbs that translate as it is x p a asterisk wapyawi greater than p asterisk wapay u greater than p s n e a asterisk wapa u greater than Massachusett wampi wope, wapa j, it is white. Vocalic allophones The exact values and ranges for allophonic variation of the vowels is unknown, given the death of the last native speakers a century and a quarter in the past, but given that the colonial orthography was based on English values as spoken in the 17th century, some clues are provided. The short vowel, a, before, h, was often replaced by u in colonial documents. Given that open front unrounded, a, before, h, was often syncopated, it is likely this allophone approached Dialectal variation aside, it is likely that a may have also back to in some environments. The long vowel i was often written with i in colonial documents before sk or k, indicating it may have shortened to i in these environments. A similar process also occurs in Abenakian languages. In the development of Massachusett, i weakens to which triggers k palatization and vowel affection in certain environments. The long vowel, a, is written in a myriad of ways, which may just be the difficulty in rendering the vowel according to English spelling rules as used in the colonial orthography. It is likely that most instances were generally a, but it most likely backed or, the long, nasal vowel, a, possibly better represented by, a tilde, to indicate length in addition to nasality may also frequently approach the mid-open nasal. Before h, colonial writers used u, possibly indicating an allophone before h. The colonial orthography assigns vowels with a circumflex to write them, but this was not done consistently. A silent m before p and n elsewhere was often used to indicate nasality, but writers often confused usage of the circumflex to mark nasality and the acute accent to mark stress and length. The long vowel u, represented in the colonial orthography by or u and eight in the modern one, was often written with o in the earliest colonial writings, suggesting a change from a mid-back vowel or close mid-vowel o to a close-back u, which can be reconstructed from development. 
For example, snake is ask k, ask 8 k, ask k, and descends from Proto Algonquian asterisk a theta ko ka and Proto Eastern Algonquian asterisk axko k. Eliot created a letter represented in the modern Wampanoag script as 8 to distinguish the long u from the short u, but noted that the vowel he was trying to represent was between the two. Just as o, represented in Algonquian linguistics as asterisk o, shifted to u, a similar process occurred in English just a few generations before Eliot's time during the Great Vowel Shift, and both book and mood would have rhymed with the current pronunciations of poke and mode. Even in the early modern English of Eliot's time, the distinction between mood and book shared the same vowel. Consonants <laughs> 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 Massachusetts has 13 consonant phonemes, not including possible allophones. They are divided into the affricate t, stop, p, t, k, k, and the voiceless alveolopalatal stop, t, the voiceless affricates, s, and h, and the voiced continuance, which comprises the voiced nasal per meter, and n, and the voiced approximants, with and j. The stop consonants were particularly difficult for early English missionaries to record with the Latin alphabet because Massachusetts did not make phonemic distinctions of voicing with these consonants, and these consonants likely had voiced allophones of b, d, d, dependent upon word environment, dialect, or speaker. In addition, Massachusetts consonants probably lacked distinctions based on aspiration for these consonants. In English, the equivalent stop consonants are aspirated in stressed and in final positions, but not in consonant clusters after s. For example, English spin is pronounced spn while pin is pronounced pn. As a result of these differing phonologies, the colonial orthography can be separated into unvoiced, voiced pairs that do not change meaning, such as c, k, g, p, b, q, u, g, w, s, z, and d, t, which correspond to k, p, q, s, and t, respectively in the modern orthography. Eliot and the other colonial missionaries often switched between the unvoiced voiced pairs, and it is possible that the consonants themselves had allophones dependent on word position and dialect. The phonetic value of s in clusters probably approached s given the alteration of per hectosecond, and h, and sk, and k, in representation in the colonial orthography. As s and had merged in proto-southern New England Algonquian, restoration of in consonants, especially in clusters with h, indicates that the allophone of s in these environments was generally s, which sounds closer to and generally represented by shish in the WLRP new orthography. As a result of borrowings, English language religious, technical, agricultural, legal, societal, cultural, and governmental terminology was adopted by the Indians. Foreign sounds, or recognition of the preferred allophone, led to the adoption of b, d, f, per gram, d, theta, and as phonemes in these English loanwords. However, it is likely that only bilingual speakers or those exposed to English speakers pronounced these words more akin to their English values, whereas monolingual Massachusetts speakers and those further from English contact would have likely used native approximations. For example, colonial era documents include both preserved Frenchmanog possibly Frentnac versus nativized Panakmanog possibly Pinatnac. In addition, anecdotal evidence from accounts of English colonists indicate that the Massachusetts or related N dialect speakers had trouble with English, R, and, L, even though they existed in related languages, since they pronounced English words sleep and lobster as sneep and knobsta. However, final, R, goes unnoticed as English in New England developed non rhotically Although the revived dialect of the Wampanoag continues to use some loan words from English such as payam, pa jame, from English pay, most borrowings are eschewed for native equivalents, neologisms coined from known Massachusetts radicals and adoption of terms from cognate, extant Algonquian languages since the new speakers of the language are all bilingual or more proficient in English. For example, the colonial era Indians adopted the English calendrical system, and adopted all the terms for units of time and names for the days and months. Thus, Thursday and as well as its alternate early modern English form your day existed along the lesser used Massachusetts coinage Naponatashikwinashank Naponatashukunishak, Naponatak ni hak, which can be translated as that which goes five days long after the original Sabbath. However, Naponatashikwinashank is created from Massachusetts radicals by the Indians, even if it referred to a Western cultural introduction. Phonotactics 
Few consonant clusters, especially in relation to Proto-Eastern Algonquian and Proto-Algonquian, are permitted in the Massachusetts language, however, syncopation, i.e., deletion of a or i, when they fall in weak or weaker stress positions in a word, increased the number of possible clusters in the rare Massachusetts dialects that employed it. Clusters also tend to occur at the end of a root word before a following suffix, often restoring etymological, and, or even entire syllables, which were dropped at the end of consonants as early as Proto-Eastern Algonquian, but are common enough that they have to be learned. For example, anum, anum, dog, but anumwag, 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 dogs. Also, additional morphemes attached to the root word often begin with consonants themselves, thus increasing their likelihood at these junctures. Massachusetts uses hk, hk, per horsepower, hpw, per hectosecond, hsw, h, h with, ht, ht, htw, hw, mw, nw, pw, sk, sk, sp, and k. In the rare dialects that permitted syncopation, combinations such as ksk, ths, sk, per kilosecond, ks, skh, and per meter have been recorded in the literature, although some examples from translations of the Book of Psalms that were intended to be sung were forcibly altered to fit the meter of the music. The Massachusetts word, wusukwohonk, wusukahik, wushkahk, writing or book was altered to wusukwonk, asterisk wusukahk, wushkahk, yielding a cluster, hkh. Prosody Stress in the language is unknown, but Massachusetts likely had a stress system similar to extant languages, such as Ojibwe, Algonquin, Amicmac, Munsee and Unami. In Ojibwe, the rule is as follows, a metrical foot consists of two syllables, ideally with the stress on the second syllable. All long vowels are stressed, and when they occur in the weaker syllable of a metrical foot, the syllable that contains them is counted as its own foot and counting begins on the next syllable pair, and the last syllable is always stressed. In Amicmac, Unami and Munsee, languages that are more closely related to Massachusetts, the rules are a little more complex. In these languages, metrical feet consist of two syllables or more, forming either strong right foot iams or strong left foot trochis. Primary stress generally falls on either the rightmost iambic or leftmost trochaic syllables, but there are numerous exceptions. Unlike the Ojibwe system, these Eastern Algonquian languages allow for word-final unstressed syllables. Long vowels tend to be stressed, but may be shortened when long vowels fall in the weaker position. Long vowels and short syllables in the strong part of the foot receive secondary stress. Stressed words, especially the primary stress, are pronounced louder and at a higher pitch, with secondary stress the effects less so. Because Massachusetts, generally, does not undergo vowel syncope, weak vowels can receive secondary stress and entire words can consist of weak, short vowel syllables as in Mi'kmaq and Unami. Yas, Wiyas, Yaw, Ws, Flesh. Sape, Sipu, Cp with, River. Sabaig, Sapahik, Sa P A Hi K, Soup Wampanoag, Wopanok, Wapanoak, Wampanoag Keen, Keen, Ki N, U Ask K, Ask 8 K, Ask U K, Snake Mashun, M U H S H 8 N, M A U N, Canoe Couldn't Tantamumun, Kutunantamumun, K T Nan Tam M N, We, Inclusive, Think Payam ash, pmawash, pi jam w a, they come or they are coming. Okom s, akiam eights, a h k i m u s b. Wasketop, wasketop, w a s k e tap, man. Makas, 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 shoe. Topic: Phonological processes. Topic: Vowel affection. A J is inserted before vowels that follow n, h, t, t, or h only when these consonants in turn come after the vowels i or. This j is written with a single e in both the colonial and modern orthographies of the Massachusetts language. This is not triggered in every instance, but it generally occurs when the short vowel is the weakened form of Proto-Algonquian asterisk I and asterisk I both of which merged into Proto-Eastern Algonquian asterisk I before weakening in Proto-Southern New England Algonquian or I, which did not undergo weakening. 
Nepit Niput, Ni Piti, my tooth, and Nipitash, Ni Putash, Ni Pitija, my teeth from PA asterisk Ni Pichi, singular via P asterisk Nipitar, plural. Sikaniam or Sikunyam, Sikanim, Sikanjam, she, he refuses to from P asterisk Sinkanam. Wiskanimanish, Wiskanimanish, Wiskanimanya, seeds from PA asterisk Weskan, Emi, Ni, singular via P asterisk W theta Kanimanar, plural. Ogquenyokus, Agniokus, Aknyak S, to resemble. Topic Palatization of K. Unique to southern New England Alankion, the same processes that trigger vowel affection also bring about palatization. When K is followed by an that is etymologically a weakened form of p asterisk i, which is in turn followed by either per horsepower, p, per meter, hk, or, k, the consonant shifts to, t. Palatization is also triggered when, k, is followed by, a, which derives from p asterisk e, and, with, which remains unchanged from p asterisk w. The palatization of, k, followed by, is common, but in Massachusetts, k, is often restored before, a, uh, and, with by analogy to prevent excessive alteration of forms. In the colonial orthography, this was represented by ch, dj, j, t, 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 or simply t before u. In the modern orthography, t represents, t, the palatization of k, and t represents, t, followed by the, j, of the following affected vowel, or, t, plus, j, vowel, this has the same pronunciation, but is distinguished for etymological reasons. We to, we tuw, y t with, home, from p a asterisk y kiwa me, but weak, u, we q, y k with, it is her, his home, Sachem, Sotium, Sat M, Chief, from PA asterisk sa kima wa but songsqua, Sokuska, Sakiska, female chief. Kito, Kitya, Kitia with, he, she recovers, from P asterisk kaiku. Pitu, Putu, PT with, pitch, or, gum, from P asterisk PK. Upitiag, un, Upitiak, and, HPTA K, and, rib, from PA asterisk spike kani. Topic. Historical phonology The most ancient reconstructed ancestor of the Massachusetts language is Proto-Algic, believed to have been spoken circa 5000 BC in what is now the Northwest Plateau region, such as the inland regions of the Pacific Northwest along the Columbia River separated from the coast by rugged mountains. Movements of people and competition for resources, shifts to other languages that developed or arrived in the region pushed the Algic languages out of their original homeland. The only known non-Algonquian Algic languages are Yurokan and Wyotan, known only from the current languages Yurok and Wyot, which despite sharing cultural similarities and inhabiting adjacent areas of the northernmost coastal area of California, their languages are relics of a historically more widespread group of languages which diverged in the very distant past. From an unknown Algic ancestor, Proto-Algonquian emerged sometime around 1000 BC, posited to have been spoken anywhere from the foothills of the Rocky Mountains of Montana or an area just west of the Great Lakes. The Algonquian languages spread, covering southern Canada and the northern half of the United States from the Rocky Mountains to the Atlantic Ocean. Around 1000 AD, Proto-Eastern Algonquian emerged, probably somewhere in southern Ontario about the Great Lakes region, and spread from the Maritimes to the Carolinas and separated by speakers of Iroquoian languages. The Eastern languages, which are the only genetic grouping to have emerged from Algonquian, can be further differentiated. Proto Eastern Algonquian had a daughter language, Proto Southern New England Algonquian, which is the ancestor of all the languages of southern New England and most of Long Island. This includes related languages such as Nipmuc, Mohegan Pequot, Niantic, Narragansett, and Quiripi Nagatuck. The timeline for the development of PSNEA is unclear, but it might be linked to the local adoption of corn, beans, and squash agriculture slowly introduced from the south. When Massachusetts as a spoke language is unclear, but by the 1400s, cultural practices and peoples would probably be recognizable to the pilgrims and Puritans that encountered their descendants two centuries later. <laughs> <laughs> Consonant development The most striking feature in the development of Proto-Eastern Algonquian was the collapse of pa asterisk theta and asterisk l into p asterisk r. 
As a result, reconstructed P A asterisk theta E M W A dog and asterisk asterisk E liqua and become P asterisk arm and asterisk E re K W respectively. This is in contrast to Arapaho he theta he three dog, which preserves P A asterisk theta and the Ilu dialects of Western Montane Inu Alig and the I R R U dialect of the Atikamek Irig, since P A asterisk L was most likely realized as R in most Algonquian languages, or a fricative. That was somewhere between theta and L. Note that PSNEA inherited asterisk arm unaltered, but either reduplication or an unknown prefix, PA asterisk E re KW yields Massachusetts Anunix or Anunx, possibly asterisk a n in ku e s, with diminutive suffix instead of expected PSNEA asterisk a in ku. In consonant clusters, however, PA asterisk theta and asterisk L behave very differently. Proto Algonquian asterisk C theta generally yields asterisk CX, save PA asterisk N theta, which develops into P asterisk hour. In clusters of PA asterisk theta C, most merge into P asterisk SC with the exception of PA asterisk theta P, which is realized as P asterisk SP. Very few PA clusters of asterisk CL are permitted. The development of PA asterisk L to P asterisk hour is expected, but PA asterisk HL falls into P asterisk HX and PA asterisk NL is even more erratic. Under normal development, asterisk NL would yield P asterisk hour, but it morphs into asterisk H in transitive inanimate singular imperatives. Furthermore, PA asterisk L, asterisk NL and asterisk N theta greater than P asterisk hour, asterisk PA asterisk HL, asterisk H theta and asterisk theta greater than P asterisk HX. Other general mergers include the collapse of PA asterisk HC and asterisk C into P asterisk HC. For example, PA asterisk HT and asterisk T greater than P asterisk asterisk HT and PA asterisk HT, PA asterisk HP and asterisk P greater than P asterisk asterisk HP and asterisk HS and asterisk greater than P asterisk asterisk HS. With the exception of asterisk NL and asterisk N theta, all instances of PA asterisk NC are retained in P. Proto-Algonquian asterisk C develops into asterisk R in P even in clusters. P A asterisk C before asterisk P and asterisk K altered to P asterisk S and asterisk S, respectively. Also, P A asterisk X and asterisk S merge into P asterisk S. Proto-Eastern Algonquian also prefers to drop P A asterisk W and asterisk Y after consonants and clusters in P, but these are often restored by analogy when there are inflectional endings. For example, P A asterisk ma theta K W A greater than P asterisk max greater than P S N E A asterisk mask greater than Massachusetts mosk mask mask, but Massachusetts moschek moskosh mask ash. In the development of Proto-Southern New England Algonquian, several notable developments take place, especially in regards to P asterisk R. In P, all instances of asterisk R that descend from P A asterisk C must have been unstable or had a unique treatment in P as they all shifted to P S N E A asterisk S, e.g., P A asterisk C greater than P asterisk R greater than P S N E A asterisk S, P A asterisk C greater than P asterisk R K greater than P S N E A asterisk S K and P A asterisk C P greater than P asterisk R P greater than P S N E A asterisk S P, clusters from P with Asterisk R also show the same instability. Whereas P asterisk R yields P S N E A asterisk R, in final positions, it becomes P S N E A asterisk S, most noticeable in treatments of inanimate plurals. For example, P A asterisk mech greater than P asterisk merc greater than P S N E A asterisk misc greater than Massachusetts muska muskew, red, but also P A asterisk meth theta O theta C greater than P asterisk M X O R greater than P S N E A asterisk miso R greater than Massachusetts machoon M U H S H eight N per meter who N. In a similar vein, P asterisk hour, asterisk H's and asterisk H X all merge into P S N E A asterisk H's. As a result of these mergers, the sound of was preserved in PSNEA, since P S and S merge in PSNEA as asterisk S. Even P Ns and asterisk SP yield PSNEA asterisk S and asterisk SP, respectively. 
For example, P A asterisk la H L E greater than P asterisk re H X E greater than P S N E A asterisk ra H S greater than Massachusetts Nosh Nosh Na H and P asterisk Y N K W E H R E W greater than P S N E A asterisk Y quas greater than Massachusetts Wade quash weakish Y K A A major development is the palatization of P asterisk K. As described in other sections, this causes a shift to PSNEA asterisk tie in restrictive environments. For example, PA asterisk kakakiwa greater than P asterisk kakakiu greater than PSNEA asterisk kakanti greater than Massachusetts kokantu kokotu, kakat with, crow. Furthermore, P asterisk SK undergoes palatization to PSNEA asterisk HS. For example, P A asterisk Niswine theta K K greater than P asterisk Ni Sinske K Northern P asterisk Ni Sinski K and possibly even asterisk Ni Sinski K in New England P greater than P S N E A asterisk Ni S N H A K greater than Massachusetts Nesnechek Ni Snuchek, Ni S N H D A K, twenty literally two pairs of hands. Otherwise, the typical development of P A asterisk theta K is P S N E A asterisk S K. In the development of Massachusetts from PSNEA, a few noticeable differences arise. Mainly, PSNEA asterisk R is N in Massachusetts dialects, but within the SNEA languages, there are varieties that have replaced PSNEA asterisk R with L, Nipmuc, J, Niantic, N, some Narragansett dialects, or retained historical R, query P. For instance, PSNEA asterisk arm dog was Massachusetts Annum, Narragansett Ayimp, Nipmuc Alum, and Quiripi Aram. Massachusetts preserves final P asterisk R as and the general merger of PSNEA merger of asterisk S and asterisk S, but re appears as an allophone of S, probably due to the influence of emerging H, and in other environments, but the alteration may have varied by dialect or perhaps imparted some unknown semantic meaning. The instability of PA asterisk NL is also preserved. While it tends to follow that it evolves into P asterisk hour and then it should yield PSNEA asterisk H, however, it seems to have, in certain words, evolved into P asterisk R or asterisk H, especially in transitive inanimate second person imperative verbs but appears in Massachusetts as N, S, or and not h. However, words in this category seem to have been altered by analogy to other words, such as p a asterisk no n l e waki greater than p asterisk no h r e wak greater than p s n e a asterisk no ra wak greater than Massachusetts n nayog n eight nawak nu nawak she suckles them or she nurses them or appears as h or s. Topic: Vowel development. The vowels of Proto-Algonquian were very symmetric, comprising short vowels asterisk a, asterisk e, asterisk i and asterisk o followed by their long counterparts asterisk a, asterisk e, asterisk i and asterisk o. These remained relatively intact in some of the central Algonquian languages, but were radically restructured in most of the Plains Algonquian languages and Eastern Algonquian languages. Both PA asterisk I and asterisk O are lost and merge into their long counterparts in P, e.g., PA asterisk I and asterisk I greater than P asterisk I and PA asterisk O and asterisk O greater than P asterisk O. Proto Algonquian asterisk E alters to P asterisk, but PA asterisk A, asterisk A and asterisk E remain unchanged. This left P Algonquian with two short vowels asterisk a and asterisk, and four long vowels asterisk a, asterisk e, asterisk i and asterisk o. Proto-Southern New England Algonquian kept the P vowels asterisk a, asterisk, and asterisk o unaltered. Proto-Eastern Algonquian asterisk e shifted to PSNEA asterisk a. However, P asterisk a was lost, instead it was altered to the PSNEA nasal vowel asterisk a, although this appears to be diagnostic of the SNEA languages, the intrusive nasal is possibly a feature shared with Algonquian. The P long vowel asterisk i underwent some alteration. When not in the initial syllable of a word, and probably in an unstressed position often shortened to PSNEA asterisk, a process that may also trigger vowel affection and k palatization. The vowel inventory of PSNEA asterisk a, asterisk a, asterisk a, asterisk, asterisk i which are equivalent to their Massachusetts phonological representation, a, a, o, and i, respectively, is retained, but PSNEA asterisk o becomes asterisk u or u. 
This is reflected by the double O ligature or the digraph U in the colonial era documents and eight in the modern orthography implemented by the WLRP. Eliot claimed that the double O ligature was pronounced like English book and mood, both of which were also pronounced O, before shifting to U, but the word book was probably still pronounced closer to bouquet than current BK in Eliot's time, as the effects of the great vowel shift in English were still going on, and may reflect Eliot's use of O in his earliest Massachusetts writings, whereas the majority use. Eliot also used for what has been reconstructed as with, especially word medial or word final positions, and W, or word initially. However, in the modern orthography, eight is only used for what can be traced back to developments from Proto-Algonquian asterisk O. <laughs> <laughs> development examples <laughs>